Guys, gals, and fellow gender non conforming pals, welcome back. My name is C28, and I got some free time now. This class's schedule is pretty nice. I think it's like, um, what's it, four or five days? Yeah, it's about four days. That's nice. That's nice. Five if you include today. Just saying. I always include the day that I start being off. But. Um, today we're going over fractions, decimals, and percentages, how to utilize them in uh, expressions, equations, whatnot, uh, reformat things to make it easier. So, yeah, again, there's not usually going to be a whole lot to go over because a lot of the classwork is just example. Use this thing that you just were being talked to about. Um, but one of the primary things that we went over were uh, prime factorizations. So you can easily find least common denominator, uh, greatest common factor, all these things, but how, what you would use for, um, say, adding or subtracting fractions or other sorts of use cases by utilizing prime factorization. Find the prime factor of things, which means a factor that is a prime number. You can't divide it any further. So if you have something like, you know, 24, you can break it up into something like Silent you. you can break it up into something like 2 and 12, and then 12, you can break that down even further. So you could have, all right, 2 and 6, um, and then you can have 6 and break it down further. 2 and 3, so the prime factors would be 2, 2, 2, 3. Um, yeah, or 2 cubed times 3. Um, but 2, 2, 2 times 3. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Yeah, anyway, stuff like that. Uh, and different tricks on how to utilize prime, prime factorizations to prime factors to run your stuff, yeah. <laughs> I forgot where I was going with that point, uh, but I think I, I wrapped it up uh, somehow without realizing it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, just pretty much going over different ways to represent um, these relations, whether it's a percentage, whether it's a ratio, a fraction, uh, all these other types of things, it could be a decimal. Um, yeah, different formats. And, I can convert them and do different things with them. Uh, it's strange to say that's all we did when it did feel like, oh, we went over, we went over a decent bit, you know, but that was, that's it. I'm not going to give you the lecture slides. <laughs> is that genuinely it? That's genuinely it. That is ridiculous. I mean, we went over some rules that are kind of, obvious like if you're gonna add and subtract uh, fractions then you have the same denominator but like maybe it's not obvious to everyone but like, i don't know it's maths you know you cover some basic stuff but you think it's so basic you don't need to cover it um but then you you can't just leave it out because it's a thing so it's like saying um well in order to change this i'm gonna move this knob well, you know I have to move a knob, right? I don't have to say, well, yeah, it's kind of the same thing. So, yeah, you got to say it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's, that's it. We had, um, we had our class uh, practice. We did that. We had our, uh, what's it called? I forgot the names of these things. Bloody hell. Daily class practice, assignment two, uh, and integrated learning. I, I found, something about, about, found something out about the integrated learning that uh, told me I was doing it wrong. Uh, you're supposed to actually start the integrated learning before class. Uh, the class does start at 9 a.m. So it's expected you at least open it and do like one thing. You just at least have it started by the time class starts and have it finished before the next class because that is your lab time. Um, now, I would probably just complete it right after class or while class is still in session. Uh, we have like a separate part to class. You have your lecture section, and then you have your lab-ish section, but it's still technically lecture, because that's where you do your class practice. So you can ask the instructor anything that you got question-wise, in regards to how you do things. Um, yeah, certainly helpful. I had this stupid brain fart moment in class, where it was getting, if this thing is this percent off, keyword off, um, what is the new price? And my stupid brain thought, reduce its value to 60% or by that to that percent not 60% of 60% off um 
Yeah, so I was going back and forth like, how am I doing this wrong? Well, it's because you, you get that number right, and then you get that off the original, and I was just like, oh, for f sake. But <laughs> going through stupid things like that in class lets you know these are the st stupid things that you might do while you're going through a problem. So that way you don't make that same stupid mistake later. So that is a genuinely viable thing to be able to make those stupid mistakes. Like, why did I not see that? What am I doing? Um, and then in future, you see someone similar, like, I know exactly what to do because I f***ed that up last time and I'm not going to do it this time. Yeah. Um, that, that's really it for class stuff. Yeah. So next video log, I will just be doing the summary of next week. So there will not be a video on, on Monday. But there will be a video on, I think it's either Wednesday or Friday. Uh, I forget when it is. Let me, let me see for you real quick. Yeah, it's Wednesday. That's the third uh, week that you got. Um, the Friday one, I think. Yeah. So, expect uh, Wednesday, a week from now, will be another video log. Uh, yeah. The content stuff, I, I did finish that song. Now, I finished mixing it with Who Makes That Fire. I didn't finish mastering it. I haven't even started really technically mastering it. Technically, I did, but technically not. Uh, it's like quarter mastered, um, if that makes sense. Essentially, I just want to make sure that the presence of the low, mid, and bass frequencies are there. Um, there's enough saturation on stuff and other terms for things I don't know how to use correctly. No, I, I do genuinely, genuinely understand these things. It's just I'm not experienced with using the tools to do the thing. So that's why I get guidance from my friend who makes the fire. Thank you. And we were thinking actually of recording a video of the mixing session. So what I might do is I'll, I'll find a way to record us mixing uh, Celestial Waltz. And the thought did pass my mind, which I hope it doesn't stick around too long because it's a kind of good thought, but maybe not. We'll see. I was really thinking about converting Lost Melodies and, Un and Unloved Timbers Volume 2 from an 11 song album to 11 singles and maybe like a few singles and two EPs, something like that. Uh, but I think it can still be an album. I would like to keep it as an album, but with the two songs I've made recently, one that you haven't heard the name of yet, but will soon, uh, you know, Suffering and Now You Know The Name. Neural Null. Neural Null and Suffering are top tier C28 products. They have excellent stuff in them that completely outshines the entire album of Lost Melodies and Unloved Timbers Volume 2. Completely outshines it. So I would hate to only give each song an album's worth of effort. So maybe instead of this album releasing sometime soon, it actually releases like half a year from now. So I want to spend a lot of effort. Now that said, um, I did just literally make Neural Null yesterday. Like tracked it yesterday, mixed it yesterday, did slight mastering yesterday. And it's sounding really great. Uh, an example, a few things that it's got in the song. So the number one thing that I talked about, it's a song about how social media and all that causes us to have attention span loss. And it's just this plague to our minds where we become these device slaves, slaves to the screen. And yeah, you've seen it. So maybe you have done it. I caught myself doing it once and I was like, whoa, that needs to stop immediately. So that's what the song's about. It's got some really fun layers. So one of the main things is it's about, it builds, and then you kind of look up from your phone and you see, oh, nothing's happening. And instead, I was thinking about making that a chorus, but um, music theory wise, it's literally just not possible from what I understand. And I ended up making the chorus just a verse and the verse is just choruses. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what happens when you have high energy in one place and less energy in another place is it just kind of 
Pew boop. Swaps. So, yeah. The drums are the main thing I think that builds, besides maybe the basses and uh, in the third chorus, there's an increase in the leads. Um, so you got drums, it starts like pretty chill like this. Then it goes to something more like this. And then it goes to something more like this. And then by the third chorus, it ends up being something like this. And you also got some other stuff. So you have this uh, crying cat sound, which I call data decay. Um, and data decay has a cool sound to it. In the choruses that are really verses, it sounds like this. But in the chorus is that, or the verses that are, I'm just gonna call, okay. Chorus is the high energy versus the low energy. We're just gonna do that. I don't care what I intended. That's what it is now. In the verses, it's that. In the choruses, it's this. Yeah, pretty nice. It's it's a very funky sound. Uh, I especially love, there's this part where at the last chorus, it gets really extreme. And what I'm doing for that is, it's actually this patch right here. Let's see if I can pull it off. Okay, I got it set up finally. So it's a sound that's really cool. It sounds like this. Yeah, <laughs> so it's got some, um, oscillator sync action going on. It has some filter action going on with the series filter. It's pretty cool. I like it. So I don't know if I uh, actually showed what it does in the course, but in the course, uh, the, the, the final course, it does this. Uh, yeah. So it goes a little bit more intense and you, you heard some of that action happening there. Uh, and then the only other real parts to it are you have a bass that goes and you have a lead that goes um, and yeah I just spoiled the entire song not really there's so much that happens in it uh, and then there are some secret vocal lines which you'll only hear when you listen to the song when it releases maybe on Hanukkah maybe the first day of Hanukkah which I think uh, what is it this year it's like um, is it the 18th I think it's the 18th I did research on this because like if I do release this on Hanukkah, what day is it this year? Because uh, it's not based off of um, the Gregorian calendar; it's based off of, like lunar cycles and stuff. Uh, I think it's the 18th. I might be totally wrong. Future me, um, you've corrected me already, so I'm just telling you to do it now so you don't forget. So if you did forget, um, no, no, you didn't because you're hearing me now. So future me, just you know, put it back in past there, but it's already there. Yes, I saw you did it. You don't have to explain that. We know how time travel works. Just shut the f up. Thank you. Oh my god. So rude. Just I'm telling you so you don't forget. I thought of it. I know how this works. Oh my god. So yeah, expect that song to release that day. Uh yeah. Nothing much uh, nothing much else here. So I'm excited for that. It sounded really great. I'm excited for it. Man. Yeah. I hope you hear it and you love it. Again, Suffering will still be releasing on the 1st of December 2023 in like nine days. Is that right? I think it's nine days. What's it? 22nd now. We've got a few more days. So through. Like month wise. What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. About nine days. Yeah, about nine days. So that's nice. Cool, cool. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's content, you can hit subscribe and tell YouTube, hey YouTube, I enjoyed this content. Can you please provide me more content that's like this content so I can view more content like this content because I would appreciate more content like this content. And if you really, 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 really enjoyed this content, you can hit join and become a situated control voltage just like these control voltages here that I can yank out. You can yank it into your brain and into the C2 at YouTube channel and start controlling some stuff. That's right.
keep that patch. I, I haven't recorded it down yet, so I kind of want to do that. <laughs> yes. You get early access to videos, like this one, which is posting in approximately an hour and a half uh, from when I've shot it. Unless you're not, in which case you'll see it at 12 a.m. p.m. 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 That's right. 12 hour time is strange. 24 hour time is supreme. Just 12. <laughs> yes. You also get access to the Discord server, which is fun. And some other perks down the line. Behind the scenes content. Yeah. If you have any questions or comments, you don't have to be a control voltage. You can just ask them away in the comment section below and you'll get comments. Comments galore. Comment emojis if you want. You know, emojis like this. Those are some emojis, aren't they? Look at those emojis. Look at them again. Vibin. Look at that. They're so happy. I love those emojis. Anyway. Yeah. I hope you all take care of yourselves. I'll be with you. And goodbye, YouTube.